Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to do my Disney challenge and mine is going to be Maleficent and let me just get a little bit on her. It says, as a beautiful young woman of a pure heart, Maleficent, which Angelina Jolie played, this is in the one a couple years ago, has an idyllic life in a forest kingdom. When an invading army threatens the land, Maleficent rises up to become its fiercest protector. Sounds like me with my family. However, a terrible betrayal hardens her heart and twists her into a creature bent on revenge. She engages in an epic battle with the invading king's successor and curses his newborn daughter, Aurora. Realizing only later that the child holds a key to peace. Okay, so that movie was, I think, oh, I don't know, uh, 2014. There we go. Uh, what a phenomenal movie. I actually own the original movie poster um, that used to hang on my wall until I painted. And now I don't want anything on my walls. But I have it in my attic. And uh, I love the movie, and I love Maleficent, and I'm going to recreate her look as best I can. Here is an up close. Okay, as for the horns, you guys, I had to improvise. Now, I know, I know, I know this is not exactly what she's wearing. Probably not even close, but there we go. So, um, as I get ready... Um, I am not going to tell you what I'm putting on because you get to choose your own character and if you are interested in what I put on I will link it in the description box below um, but I will give you just a little bit I'm using this this is from Halloween and it has some really dark shades and then I'm going to use this as well um, and then I have the original from when the movie came out, and they smell fine. I think they're fine. Um, I've used eyeshadows that are older than this, and ooh, excuse me, they were fine. And I have the original bronzing sculpting powder. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I probably will. And I have the original Maleficent face powder. And I use the heck out of that, as you can tell. I mean, I really use it a lot. So, let's get started, because this could be a long video. Uh, as you can see, I already tried to get my brows um, as best I could, like hers. And then I just used a foundation that was way too light for my skin already. I am not going to go super, super pale like that. Um, but I think I'm pretty close pretty close so foundations on setting powders on eyebrows are on and we're ready alrighty let's get this party started so let me get my brush cleanser ready here so I'm super excited for this challenge as well as the um, the 4th of July so I have had a, quite a few people actually uh, my nose is itchy I'm still you know battling a cold or whatever and um, so don't mind me if I sound nasal or I sneeze um, anyways a lot of people have hit me up about doing a uh, well, if I could think straight. I'm trying to figure out what color I'm going in with first. And I'm going through this palette. I'm going to probably use all of them. So I'm going to just start with the lightest shade. Work my way up. She's got a very dark crease. Um, I've had a lot of requests for the 4th of July to do a look for that. So um, I always do a 4th of July look. 
Last year I posted it up. I used all glitter. It turned out really, really good. And I am super excited for the 4th of July look. I will definitely do one. And, and, on top of that, I want you guys to join in the fun and do your own 4th of July look. There will be a prize. So, 4th of July coming up, couple weeks, super excited. Um, as for the Disney challenge, um, there will be the declutter, which will finish off my declutter, it should. And then um, that would be great. Get that all uh, shipped out. And then 4th of July will be an actual. We'll move on to prizes I have stashed away. So I'm just building up the crease. I'm just going to really super darken it. Um, so anyways, if you want to get in on this, I have all, I've decluttered all of my hush, not hush, oh my gosh, Huda, 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 Huda palettes, my, the highlighter ones, I have three or four. I got a whole box of like highlights. I have Beauty Bakery, I have, oh, I have a lot. And I'm still going through my eyeshadow palettes. Um, so, yes, Declutter is amazing. You will get some great goodies, as the two winners that won yesterday will um, be getting their shipped out this week. Shipping is on the winner, as I have paid a lot of shipping. So, anyways, um, I am super, super excited to do the uh, Disney challenge. I want you guys to pick your favorite Disney character and uh, this is going to be all up to you and how far you want to go in with uh, your look. You can do the whole costume like I said yesterday. Um, you can do a wig, you can do just the face makeup it has to be a full face though. You can't just do like eyeshadow and say, I'm Snow White. Like, do the lipstick, you know, try to mimic the, you know, contour of however the face looks on her, etc, etc. You do not have to do a wig, but if you want to, you know, the more the better, that would be great. Um, there's so many characters, it's just, you know, crazy. I had a hard time picking mine. And then uh, quite a few people said Maleficent, and I was like, ooh, yes. That sounds wicked. I know, right? Um, no, I was just like, that is so me. That is so perfect. So worked out well. Worked out really well. Trying to look at her picture while I'm recording. So anyways, um, this challenge is going to end on the 3rd of July. Yes, the 3rd of July. Because um, I want to give people as much time as possible. I know life gets busy, things happen, and I know a lot of people may want to get to this, but they can't. So I really want to give you guys as much time as possible. I'm going to go in, if I can, I know it's over here, oh there it is. This is a great black right here, I think it's just going to give me more of the darkness I'm looking for right here. I always forget I have this because it's just by itself, but it is Natasha Denona's Blackest Black. So I'm going to use that to give it some super dark vibes. So anyways, 3rd of July, I'm not sure what day that is going to land on, but uh, I'd like to cut it off on that date. 
we shall see we shall see hopefully that will work out for everybody so my husband started his new job the fire department so he's super excited about that it's like top secret he can't even be caught on Facebook saying a cuss word or anything so I don't know if that involves me I don't know but I'll try to behave I'm working on my language I have grandkids now so I'm trying to behave she has a little bit not going down more going up I don't know why I put it so far down any corrections I'm gonna have to make I'll I'll get to it it's not going to be perfect, guys, but I'm going to do the best I can. Okay. That's all I want you guys to do. Just do the best you can and have fun with it. I look like I have two black eyes. Holy crap. And um, that is all. It's supposed to be all fun. I think I picked a bad, bad photo to look at here. So I'm going to go in with this white and try to correct where I didn't want the brown or the black to go. I was using the cream and I am going to go back in with it because she does have a whole area up here that is just pure white. So this is purely a Disney theme challenge. It is not Halloween, which I know you could look at me and say otherwise, but um, I am I love 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 Halloween. And let me tell you, when Halloween comes around, oh. We're gonna have so much fun. Just trying to mimic what I see. Her brows kind of go outward. Mine go down, so I tried to do that. So, and a lot of you guys want that thirsty palette and I think I may order one just in case they sell out I don't they haven't yet but you never know um, in fact I might call uh, my Morphe store and see if they got it in there because if they did then I can just pick it up. I am so covering the camera. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it'd be easier just to pick it up. I ordered my own. I, I was I didn't know if Morphe was gonna have it. I I was too busy. It's a very distracting, horrible weekend. So just a lot, a lot of stuff going on. But we don't want to talk about that. We want to do the best we can with this look. This black is definitely, definitely darker. Yes, it's giving me great, great pigmentation. We smoke it out just a little on the edge here. Ooh, I think it went too far. Okay, that edge went good. This one just didn't want to cooperate. Where's my beauty sponge? There we go. Okay. Mind you, I'm still going to do my concealer so I can clean up with that as well. 
let me check out the lid. It's really hard to tell because, well, because the photo doesn't really show. So, I will have to do a little bit of guesswork. She can't see her lid really. I'm going to go on the lid. Well, first let me do this because I can tell that she's got the black totally going down here. Very, very dark. Ew, it doesn't look like she's doing any eyeliner. That's a plus. And then here. This is a great black. Oh yeah, it is so dark and deep. Oh, I love it. Love it, I love it. Yes. Okay. Now, I just can't tell what she's got on her lid, so I'm going to go with the only other color left on the palette, which is the gold. And we're going to pack it on the lid. I look like I've been in a really big fight. Okay, let's go on the lid. Just a little bit, not the whole lid, just a little bit. Okay, brought a little bit of color on my face. <laughs> Sheesh. She definitely been wearing a really deep red lipstick. And I know I got those. I used to have the ones from this collection, but I got rid of them. I traded them in because they, they went bad. Those definitely went bad. You could tell. I think eyeshadows last longer than they claim, unless I break out. Wow. And we'll know, huh? Then we will know. So, do the Disney challenge tutorial and do your own thing tag me and whatever you come up with super exciting and then on the 4th of July I will post a tutorial and then you guys can can I can't I'm gonna like try to dab this and can follow and then uh, I will pick a winner that'll be fun I love fourth of July we usually have it here and have quite a few people but I don't know about this year it's a changed a lot of people have moved passed away so I don't know what we're gonna do I'd still like to have it here so, we will see. It might just be a little more laid back. And my block goes crazy. Oh my gosh. Never fails. They have illegals. Never fails. I'm going to dab a little on the inner corner. Okay, so, I mean, that was really it for the eye. She's uh, really simple. I mean, the way it looks on the photo here. I want to bring this up a little. Ah, oh, jeez, I just covered it. Don't you just hate when you, like, screw up your shadow and you covered up the line? I don't know why I went up so high. I want the brown in there, too. 
at the top. What do you guys usually do for the 4th of July? Just interested. I know a lot of people will go to like shows, you know. Um, we've done that a couple times, but somehow it became like tradition to have it here. So we will see. We shall see what happens this year. Sometimes we have a doughboy pool. This year we're not getting one. There, so much upkeep. Oh, I am blocking the whole camera. I am sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, we have a jacuzzi though, so that that's always up. So I am so congested. I don't know what is going on. Is it the weather? Is it me? I know a lot of people, other people are saying they're sick too, so you know, I think flu season is over, I hope, my goodness, but maybe it's cold season or allergy, I don't know, I don't know, but I know it does not help my COPD, okay, so now I'll be on here forever, I'm going to fix my eyes because they just seem, I want the white going down further. It's bugging me. Let me deal with this. She's got some of the white here. And then brings it up to here. So I had ordered the Aurora Glow Kit, Glow Kit, whatever, um, Anastasia one, the Dream, the Dream one, and uh, from Sephora, and I got it a couple days ago. I was going to actually review it yesterday, but I opened it, um, and the whole thing was completely demolished, like... Every highlighter was in pieces. It was uh, unsalvageable. So I called Sephora. And they're like, oh, well, you can go in. Or this or that. So I'm gonna, I called my local Sephora. Because I was just going to have them ship a new one. But they have it in stock. So I'm going to go and pick that up. And then I can do a review for you guys on that and I feel like I actually want to I'm gonna do this and hope it turns out okay I'm going to deepen my brows because she's got black brows with this Natasha Denona and hope I don't really screw things up here just really want to make them darker. So, I'm going to go pick that up today, I think, hopefully. And then I will get in my review. And I still got to do my May favorites. And here, like, it's like mid June. That's not too bad. I'm trying to get my brows to sway that way because that's how hers are. So, okay. We're getting there. This white paint sure does come in handy. I used it last Halloween too. Alright. 
I could sit here and tweak on these all day. <laughs> I'm just not going to because I don't have all day. But I think that definitely darkened them and uh, helped out a little bit. Okay. Enough. Enough! Okay. Let's move on. Now, she really has her her um, cheekbones carved out like, ooh, holy crap. Um, super deep. So, here's what I gotta do is find the bright brush. I don't think this is gonna be it, but we're gonna start with that. Um, yeah, we're going to start with it. Just in the, We're going to use this gray just to really carve them out. Not give the depth that I wanted. I'm gonna go in with my finger here. I want it to be really carved. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Maleficent sculpting, which this definitely does not look anything like her photo. And my hands are filthy. Let me get a wet wipe here. This is a messy job. Somebody's got to do it. I look like a zombie. Okay. Much better. Now, let me get my bronzing brush that I typically use. I'm going to do my concealer to brighten up a little and uh, a couple other things and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I just cleaned up around my eye a little. I did my concealer and set my concealer and I am working on my bronzer. Now, where was I? Mascara. Let's do my mascara. I'm going to use my Kush Milk. My favorite mascara. Oh, I put eyeliner in my waterline. I need to do my hair. <laughs> I keep telling myself that and this weekend I was sick all weekend. But I do henna, which a lot of you maybe already know that. I know I've mentioned it on here before. I actually filmed a video of it. 
and uh, it's very time consuming but it is so worth it. It's very very messy but it is all natural and good for your hair so I like to do that. I don't chemically dye my hair anymore. I used to and I messed my hair up for a while but now it's it's all good. I've been doing henna now for a couple of years and I really enjoy it. Once you get it in your hair it's not so bad. It's the process of getting it in your hair. Trying to get me some good lashes going for this. This is a great mascara. It volumizes and separates. And it's my favorite. Okay. Not bad, not bad. One of them's bugging me over here. I don't know which one. Okay, it's all good. Let me finish my brows with my Tarte Gel. Look at how that just like sets it in place. I love it. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm concentrating. So I hate when one brow is not cooperative. And that is obviously my left brow today. It's bugging me like crazy. I will probably go back over it. Because it's driving me nuts. Okay. Now, I want to go in with this Ghost Sculpt, and I'm going to try to deepen the cheekbones a little bit. I in no way am I going to look luminous and pretty today. <laughs> um, but that is not what we're going for, people. We are not going for luminous and pretty. We are going for deep and dark. Okay. Let's hope I don't overdo this. I kind of want the, you know, idea that it's like really a great in-depth cheekbone here. This one I went all over the place. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. Ooh, shit. That really didn't work well. So, that is where... Ooh, my nose is so itchy. Oh my gosh. God, sorry guys. It's, it's my allergies. Okay, now we're going to go in and we're going to correct this with the white side, this is a ghost. Because first off, that bronzer went way too far down. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Then the other side.
Okay, can't be too pale for this one. Because she's freaking white in this boy. Like ghost. Ghostly white. So, I'm trying to, basically, I want you guys to see this picture so you're not like, holy crap, what is she doing? I'm trying to give, like, the depth here that she's got. So, I don't know. Is it, like, two? Is it, like, I think the line goes two down. So, let me fix that. I think we just want it from about there. Okay. So now I'm just going to touch up on the bronzer because I like to mess around. I just really wanted a straight line and I got, whoa, way more than that. Let me see if I can find a better brush. I look like I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not getting the look I want, the dimension I want. I look like I just have a painted stripe on my face. Okay, so we'll blend that out and then we're gonna move on. At least, you know, makeup is fixable, makeup is blendable. Hallelujah! So we're just going to leave it at that. I think if I really, really pack on the light under here, I might give it more of the dimension up here. Let's cover that a little. Alright, that is enough for that, but woo! Now, she's basically, I mean, that is about as much as she looks like she's got, which I'm sure there's a lot more to it, my lord, it's Disney. But, I'm going to set my face with some setting powder, real quick like. I think I'm going to use, um... I don't want to use this one because it looks, it doesn't smell bad, but I don't know. Should I? Ah, uh, hell, why not? Okay. So, we're going to go in with my, I, I know I haven't been saying the brushes I'm using, but they are always the same. They are always my wing gauze, although I did break out my Zoeva, Zoeva, however you say it, brush set. And uh, so, yes, I have been using those because they were sitting in the living room on my tool cart, not getting used. This is a very, very good face powder, by the way. I do have a whole Mean Girls um, mini brush set retails for I think $80 or $100 put away for a giveaway so you guys always stay tuned make sure you don't unsubscribe because if you do and you hop back on then you are automatically disqualified okay so with that oh my gosh I'm not gonna have highlight on today you guys whoa <laughs> or blush Wow, that is really going to be tough for me. Actually, I think after the video, <laughs> I'm going to add it. Sorry, but okay, let's move on. We need some lips. I'm trying to find like the perfect color to her bed. 
see here. No, this one. Okay. So it is going to be the color Morphe from Morphe. How convenient. These are really hard to get on my lip. They're freaking huge. Look at the end. Now I use tip for a liner. These take some work. The only thing I can say about them is when you get them on and they're like perfectly on, and you use, I would recommend the tip for a liner. So look at this way, you get a lipstick and a lip liner all in one. Um, then it's worth it, but it takes some work. So I'm going to go do my hair, and I will be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So this is her next me. I know. I know this is not the right horns. Um, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to do the wig, whatever it is, the makeup that counts. Um, I don't feel I did the cheekbone as well, not nearly, I'm not very happy with it, but, um, you know, I think it is okay, so just have fun with it, that's what it is all about, you guys, so this is my look for the Maleficent Disney Challenge, my horns light up, by the way, and if I'm not scared, if I'm not sure, I don't know if you can see them, it's kind of too bright in here. They're going blue and red. Anyways, have fun with it, you guys. I cannot wait to see your looks. It's super exciting and all about fun. So, Disney Challenge. Pick your character and put a picture, tag me, um, and uh, definitely try and get this done by July 3rd if you can. There is going to be... Um, lots to give away so I'm super excited and my left brow is just on an off day it's just not cooperating with me I don't know why anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I promise I will do a 4th of July look um, super excited I will probably use mostly all glitter so look forward to that and I will see you guys soon Leave in the comments below what you think you're going to be for the Disney character. And um, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Follow me on over to Instagram, Susan Young1974. And look forward to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, you guys. I have the purse, and I will be filling it up with makeup. So you never know what you're going to find in there. Ha, ha, ha. I look forward to seeing your looks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.